Hi, this is Dr. Justin here. Today's talk is about thyroid problems. Again, thyroid issues are epidemic in today's society. I think patients really are, are, are reaching for more information about thyroid because they're just not happy with the conventional medical model that's out there today. So what is the conventional medical model? Well, a patient may go to their doctor complaining, complaining of fatigue or um, maybe weight gain or um, lack of circulation, maybe cold fingers or extremities, and they're going to ask their doctor to get their thyroid tested. So one of the first things the doctor may do is, is run their, their TSH. That stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. That's a hormone produced by the brain, essentially the brain, the hypothalamus, and the pituitary. This is looking at the pituitary here. And it's basically screaming down to the thyroid to make thyroid hormone. So what they're looking at is an elevated level of TSH, usually about 4.5 to about 5, if you have a lab test at home and you're looking at it. Now, once you go over that range, doctors are usually likely to prescribe you level thyroxine or Synthroid. This is synthetic T4. And again, doctors are doing this because when the synthetic T4 or the um, level thyroxine or synthroid is, is prescribed, you're going to see a lowering of the TSH back into a normal range. And this is good for the doctor because we're able to make the lab test look normal, but many patients still don't feel too well. And the question is, why is that? Here, here's the next option you have if you're in that position where you've been prescribed synthroid, your lab test may be starting to look more normal, but you don't feel well. So what's going on? Well, 90, almost 90% 90 of all thyroid issues are actually autoimmune. So what's actually happening is our immune system is creating specific antibodies. And on a thyroid test, you may see that as thyroglobulin antibodies or maybe TPO antibodies. Or for even people with Graves' disease, it may be TSI antibodies. And what's happening is the immune system is attacking these antibodies. And it, what it's doing is it's creating inflammation around the thyroid. So just giving the thyroid thyroid hormone is not going to fix the underlying issue because it's really an immune problem. And in previous talks, we talk about receptors and hormones. So here's a receptor. Think of it as the catcher's mitt and the hormone essentially as the, the baseball going into the mitt. So if we have an autoimmune condition and we're making all these antibodies, these antibodies tend to go in and plug up the receptor. So here's the open mitt here. Imagine the mitt closing. And now if we give a whole bunch of T4, inactive thyroid hormone, that hormone is not going to be able to go into the mitt. So ideally the goal is to go into the mitt and if we're making a whole bunch of these antibodies, that hormone into the receptor is blocked. And that's one of the main issues why a lot of patients aren't really getting beneficial results in today's therapy. So what's the functional medicine or the holistic approach to addressing this problem? Well, it's multifactorial, but the first things first is we want to look at the immune systems. So we want to address the foods and the infections that could potentially be driving the immune issue. With certain patients, we see H. pylori infections causing issues of the thyroid. In certain women, we see, even see progesterone deficiencies. So the goal really is to get a specific workup to figure out what thyroid pattern you have so a protocol that's specific to you can be, can be used to help address the issue. So let's go back to thyroid hormone. A lot of patients are given just T4. And T4 is inactive thyroid hormone. And the goal is for your body to take T4 and to convert it into T3, which is your active thyroid hormone. Now, there are certain nutrients that are needed for that conversion, such as selenium, magnesium, and zinc, and other herbs can be used as well. And iodine can be used too, but it's very controversial and it's recommended holding off on all iodine, especially because it can exacerbate autoimmune conditions. So, anyone out there thinking about using iodine, talk to a educated healthcare provider in autoimmune thyroid as well as iodine use before you decide to use that. So again, the next thing is T3 really is the active thyroid hormone. So we actually find patients that do have an autoimmune condition do better with the natural forms of thyroid that have T4 and T3 and other iodine or other thyroid compounds such as even T1 and T2 and calcitonin. My favorite thyroid compound is nature thyroid. Nature Thyroid is great because it doesn't have many fillers in it. It's a full spectrum of thyroid hormones. And I find patients that are using um, Armour, which has been around for a long time, may not react 100% well to Armour because of the fillers and the glutens and even some dyes in it. So going off for Armour and using a Nature Thyroid compound is much better. And Nature Thyroid and Armour are pretty much the same thing. 
So the next step is we know 60% of all thyroid hormone becomes activated to T3 in the liver. So it's really important in going on an anti-inflammatory diet, cutting out foods that are toxic, avoiding pesticides and chemicals, because the more burden we put on our detoxification system, the less apt we are going to have the ability to convert our T4 into T3, which is active thyroid hormone. Next, we know 20% of our thyroid hormone, T4, is converted to T3 in the gut. So it's very important. If we don't have healthy gut bacteria, let's say we have a dysbiosis. Big word, all it means is more bad bacteria than good bacteria. We're going to be missing specific enzymes in the gut that are going to help convert T4 to T3, inactive to active. So having healthy gut bacteria is vitally important. And next, if we're under a lot of stress, this stress could be our adrenals working a whole bunch because of emotional stuff. It could be not a lot of sleep, too much or too little exercise. All of these stress can drive our adrenals. And what our thyroid does as a backup defense mechanism, it hits the brakes on the thyroid hormone. And how it does that, instead of converting T4, our inactive thyroid hormone, to T3, our active thyroid hormone, it goes from T4 to reverse T3. So think of reverse T3 as the brakes. So if we address our adrenal stressors and we handle sleep and all of the lifestyle things in conjunction with all the other concepts we talked about, that is the best way to get our thyroid working properly. The thing is, this really can't be done in a five-minute consultation with your medical doctor because there are more things than just looking at TH, TSH, and writing a prescription for level of thyroxine or synthroid. It's a multifactorial approach and really um, requires someone who's an expertise in functional medicine, diet, and lifestyle to really help look at your case individually, look at your labs, and create a program to help address the problems and get you back on track. There's a lot of information here. Feel free and visit the website and or look at any other YouTube videos for more info on the topic. And also you can call the office and uh, feel free and schedule the consultation for more information about your case specifically. Thanks. Have a great day.